Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gudi and I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine, surgery and assisted conception at the Homerton Fertility Centre in London. So today I'm going to talk to you about the extended use of clomiphene in IVF. I'm not talking of clomiphene for five days, six days. I'm talking it in a different role altogether. So what is this role we're looking at? We're looking at its LH suppressing role. For this, you understand the two of the basic concepts the negative feedback mechanism and the positive feedback mechanism. So clomiphene tends to block the negative feedback mechanism. So to a large extent, a sustained rise of FSH is continued. And on the other hand, it blocks the positive feedback mechanism, which also prevents LH surge. So what are we looking at? And we are looking at how can this be used? So what does a normal IVF cycle go through? It goes through an antagonist or an agonist. It goes through HMG or FSH and an HCG trigger. Then we're looking at a natural cycle. And if in a natural cycle, what are the risks that we take? And the risks that we take mainly go towards a premature luteinization or premature ovulation. And then with the, if you add clomiphene, you should be able to reduce the risk of ovulation by controlling LH surge. So let's have a look at this study. And this study was 543 cycles, 25 to 29 years was the age group. And the protocol one was 50 milligram of clomid from day three to trigger and HMG from day eight to trigger, no antagonist and, a, and an analog trigger being given. Protocol two was a control which was completely natural cycle IVF and these and the replacement was done by day three embryos or day two embryos which are cleavage state embryos. So when you look at the mean number of oocytes it is 1.83 fertilization rates of 72.5 percent mean number of embryos 1.21 and pregnancy rate per retrieval is 17.4 percent and per transfer is 26.8 percent. LH surge, and that is the interesting part. If you look at the LH surge and ovulation before the egg collection with clomiphene was 2.8% and its nature was 18.9%. So what does it tell us here? It tells us here specifically that clomiphene is able to suppress LH surge. And in fact, if you use it in your mild stimulation protocols, you may almost be able to withhold your antagonist if you want. And that is some of one of the benefits of this paper. It's a short paper, but it assesses the role of clomiphene given over a long term to suppress LH surge. Now, if you like this paper, please share it. Please let your friends know and like the page. And if you want to join us for our meeting, it's in January 2020 in Kolhapur and you're all welcome. Thank you.